Hey guys, do you like to fish with braided line attached to fluorocarbon leader? Do you ever wonder what the best knot is to actually tie? Well today we're going to test the strength of four different commonly used braided to fluorocarbon fishing knots and see which one's actually the strongest. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. In today's episode, we're in the shop and we're gonna test the strength of these four fishing knots. We've got the FG knot, the GT knot, the Albright knot, and the double uni knot. I also have one bucket set up on the end just to tell us the weight of what's in the rest of our buckets. So what I'm gonna do is progressively add weight to these buckets until the leader lines break and we'll see which one's the strongest. I'm gonna use that bucket at the end to tell me how much weight is in my buckets. And I use 20 pound braid on that one at the end, just so I know that it won't break before these ones. All these buckets I set up with 10 pound fluorocarbon leader to 10 pound braid. And I made sure my leader line was eight inches to each of the buckets. So before we get to our experiment, let's just quickly talk about each knot. So if you've looked into this subject at all, you've probably seen that the FG knot is often touted as like the strongest knot in the world. So you've probably tied it before. But I'm gonna be honest, out of these four knots, the FG knot is the hardest to tie. It's definitely not a knot that you wanna be tying in a tournament or when the weather's cold or when it's windy. This is a great knot to tie the night before when you're doing your morning before prep. So as far as tieability, it is not easy to tie, but as far as strength goes, it does seem to hold up when I'm fishing. The GT knot is basically, to me, a improved Albright knot. It's pretty much the Albright knot, only you have to tie like a little figure eight, wrap your braided line through it, yada yada. It's kind of similar. It's decently easy to tie, can be a little bit of a pain when it's windy, and it also seems to be pretty strong while I'm fishing. The Albright knot is the knot that I use most frequently, at least until I find the results from this experiment. I can tie it in probably two minutes or less. I have broken it off a few times though on fish, which happens to any of these knots. But for the amount of times that I have to tie on leaders, this is definitely the easiest and fastest knot to tie, and it is decently strong. The last knot is the double uni knot. This is the knot that I tied when I was a young buck before I knew about all these different knots. It's not that easy to tie. You have to make a lot of loops, which can be a nightmare if it's windy or cold. And again, I have broken this knot off quite a few times, probably just because I used it for years before I discovered these other ones. But for me, a good knot is easy to tie in all conditions, windy and cold, and it's strong. So before I add any weight to the actual buckets, the buckets weigh 0.6 pounds. So we're gonna start with 0.6 pounds on the scales. So let's see which of these knots is actually the strongest. All right guys, we got our setup here. This is my bucket that I'm gonna use to weigh out all my materials for these other buckets. The first thing I'm gonna do is weigh out five pounds of hammers. I know it's goofy, but it's what I got. And then I got cap screws. These cap screws each weigh 0.2 pounds. So I'm gonna put five pounds in all the buckets, assuming they can all hold that. It's all 10 pound line. And then I'm gonna go up by 0.2 increments and we'll see which one is the strongest. So the GT knot actually just snapped with five pounds. Albright knot snapped with five pounds. So we got the FG knot hanging in with five pounds and the double uni hanging in with five pounds. Keep in mind there's no give to the dowel rods, so the weights are gonna be lower than if they were tied to a fishing pole. And there goes the double uni with five pounds. It hung in longer than the others though. So right now the winner is looking like the FG knot. I'm gonna add cap screws by the 0.2 pounds and we'll see how much weight it can actually hold. 5.2, 5 5.4, 5 5.8, 5 6 pounds. So based on that little experiment, guys, it appears that the Albright knot and the GT knot are tied for third. The double uni knot is in second, 
and the strongest knot in this experiment was the FG knot. You could probably argue that there's some source of error in this experiment, but I made sure that I tied every knot to the best of my ability and very accurately, and I used the same length of braided line and the same length of leader line to the buckets. If I had to do this experiment again, I probably wouldn't start with five pounds. These weights are a lot lower than I expected. I think it's probably because the dowel rod has zero give to it. A fishing rod that's gonna absorb some of that shock could obviously support a little bit more weight, but I'll be tying the FG knot from here on out. So if you like this video, you know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.